Hey guys, Jen here in the North View Model Shop and we're going to get ready to start ourselves a new super cool project and that is the Warhammer 40,000 Knights Titan. I've uh, been looking forward to getting one of these for many years. Uh, watched Gilbert Mondragon build so many of these live on the Hangouts and uh, just, just love them. Now, guys, before you get too excited, these are super expensive and I, and I just assume it's just the gaming and the marketing. But uh, we're gonna look at the sprues and everything real quick. And uh, is it worth the money? Uh, it, that's a good question. It's a hobby, man. Things cost money, nothing's cheap no more. So uh, just forget the price, just rock and roll with these kits. But uh, really cool, let's look at this thing a bit closer. So first thing you get is the instruction booklet. Um, it's pretty cool, uh, quickly, decals. Uh, I believe you get lots of options on how to set these up. Um, I don't really know much about the games. It's really just a build for fun stuff. I'm gonna go like badass kind of thing with mine, uh, dark color, stuff like that. But uh, decals look super, super cool. But the instruction booklet, um, really, really nice. Uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of a, of a Bandai kit instruction. Um, doesn't look too overly complicated. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, you need to pick a lot of stances and poses accessories, uh, weapons, all that stuff you need to kind of pick. But uh, for the most part, it uh, doesn't look super, super, super complicated. Um, gives you, uh, like I said, when you get to decaling, it gives a lot of options. You need to pick your uh, your side, I guess, or your, 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 your faction, whatever. But uh, really cool, really nice. Uh, like it would have preferred uh, some colored sheets uh, for us who don't know much about the game. That would have been cool, but uh, you know, that is what it is. So the first thing you see is it comes with the nice little base to, to, to mount your uh, Knight Titan on. Um, just simple black. Uh, I bet you could play with these, kind of get these going, but uh, either way, that's for another day. So we get into the first tree that I pull out. Um, really neat, uh, very, very highly detailed pieces. This piece here looks really cool. I think this is like the main outer shell that goes on the, the chassis afterwards. But it just, I don't know, it just looks really cool. Uh, raised, or it recessed panel lines, raised bolt heads. Uh, just nice, clean. I've seen absolutely no flashing in this kit at all. Um, here's our next tree. Uh, a lot of the feet pads. It kind of reminds me of like an AT-AT -AT yeah, AT -AT walker or something from Star Wars. But uh, I know the purists in, uh, in the Warhammer are going to kill me for saying that and vice versa with the Star Wars fans. But... Uh, really cool the detailing in this is just insanely nice uh super super excited really to get going on this one and now we get into this tree uh this must be a lot of the weaponry so this is really like a chainsaw gun kind of thing but like look down in here i have you know obviously you guys can't see it uh i don't know if we can get this thing up there or not yeah maybe you can see that a little skull on that uh, on this saw blade thing that's cast it really crisp like it's impressively cool uh, these helmets kind of look like a medieval knights kind of thing from uh, like Robin Hood or something right really cool um, the guns are really cool and then the other weird thing about this is um, I mean I'm just looking at this and it, it, it totally pulls me into that dr. cranky mindset like looking at these guns it's like oh come in here and, and, and pick out some really nice painting details in these holes and some dry brushing and some wearing and Oh, it's just, there's so much you could do here. It's just insane. Look at this little thing. I just happened to notice that too. Let me get with this light. There's that little skull casted into there too. Super, super, super nice. Uh, everything comes comes in the box. is sort of like this and it slides in and out. Um, one thing I heard through the grapevine, uh, you know, once again, the king from Gilbert Mondragon was regular to me, extra thin. Doesn't seem to work really well. And uh, I had heard uh, the great find if you use the I believe it was the Tamiya that came in like the octagon uh, paint or octagon orange glue it seemed to work better uh, I went to look at that at my local little hobby uh, store and they didn't have any but they had um, they had uh, the Citadel display and they had this stuff this glue here and uh, looking at the consistency it looks just the same as as um, as to me extra thin so if it's the same or not I'm not sure but we're gonna try it with this we'll review it as well and just see how it goes um, and we'll take it uh, we'll take it from there but you know from what I paid for this kit I really think I figured I should use the correct product for the correct 
plastics. Uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe do some tests with some sprue pieces, see if I can glue some sprues together with some Tamiax or Thin. It'll tell me pretty quick how, how well it holds. But uh, but just really excited for this kit. Been waiting for this forever and finally had some money to buy one, so we got one. But, I mean, these things just look like really, really badass, I'm telling you right now. Uh, this whole portion right through here and how these things are hunched over like it reminds me a lot of uh, a movie with I believe it was George Takai uh, really cheap movie and it was something like they went to the moon and found these uh, this like alien robots or something that came back and was was running amok on earth and uh, the robot was very poorly animated in the movie but it kind of reminded me of this like this is much more badass than that was but uh, I always loved that movie and uh, if you know that movie, put it down in the comment section. Send us the link uh, and let everybody else enjoy. But guys, stay tuned. We'll do some, uh, some build progress, some pictures, uh, slideshows, fun. We'll talk about painting later on. But just excited to get started on this one. So anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, give a comment. It helps out a lot. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Adios.